Oh, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to our first meeting for the academic competition. Um, if you recall, uh, were you part of the team uh, last last uh, last year, Amanda? Whenever you guys uh, did your uh, house competition? Yes, um, yes, we were. Okay, perfect. So essentially, it's going to be the same concept, um, and we'll go ahead and get started, and we'll move on to the next slide, please. Um, so you are aware that uh, Region 9 has been hosting it for over 25 years. Um, we took it, we started uh, doing it for our Region 10 uh, as of last year. Um, unfortunately, due to the restrictions, we all know if the pandemic has caused a lot of things to be virtual. Um, so that being the case, that's how we are going to be maintaining our uh, virtual um academic competition. Um, and these are questions that are going to be um, for the standards of excellence. So it's all curriculum based, uh, middle school, uh, JV and high school as well. So with all that information, um, it should like it like it says, it should be age and grade appropriate. So we don't need to worry too much about too difficult questions because they are already categorized into um, age appropriate. <laughs> um, Questions, yeah. And then our previous participants from last year, um, it was Animus High School and Middle School, Lordsburg, um, the Charter School as well, Reserve, Cobra, Deming, Silver, and Hatch Valley. The actual competition, um, Hatch, Silver, Deming, and Lordsburg uh, all participated in the high school. And then the middle school was Hatch Valley internally with their own houses. Um, and it was a great turnout last year. All the kids had fun. And we are trying to roll it over again uh, this year. And we're trying to make it statewide. Um, okay, so the way um, we kind of, to get started, we're hoping that you can have a team or you can have multiple teams of four to seven students. During each round, only four students are gonna be allowed to participate at a time. And then they can be, at the end of the round, you can substitute other students out, but only four play at a time. And each team needs to have a sponsor, a uh, teacher, a parent, etc. Our competition dates uh, that we decided on are October 25th, November 17th, February 7th, and April 6th. The first two, October 25th and November 17th, um, those we won't keep score. They're just more for, to prepare the kids to help them practice, to let them get the experience. And then the February 7th and the April 6th, we will be keeping score. And then that will determine if they get to go to the main competition. Um, so the, these are the times they'll be competing. So varsity is gonna be competing from 1 to 2.30, JV from 10.30 a.m. to 12, and then middle school from 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. The region battle with the finalists will be held um, in May. We think probably at the beginning of May, we haven't decided an exact date though, but it will be in Albuquerque for two days. And so all of this is virtual, but the main competition will be in person for varsity. Um, for academic eligibility, um, we kind of want to stick with what sports have to do. So we want students to hold a 2.0 grade average with no F. Um, if they are not eligible, they go below an F, then they're yep. kind of like, they can't compete until the next grading period when they show they have to the grade. And then they must be enrolled at least 51% of, uh, their, of the schedule. Um, so they have to at least go to school half a day. And then um, they have to, they can't be absent more than 15 days in a semester. So, let me pull this up a little bit. So when it comes to the substitute, um, we all have already uh, practiced uh, Ms. Avalos with um, <clears throat> uh, four at a time and then in between questions, uh, that's when you can go ahead and sub them out. Um, uh, the type of questions uh, are multiple choice calculation, open-ended and fill in the blank. 
and our um, <clears throat> categories uh, are going to be curriculum based. So science, math, social studies, geometry, uh, New Mexico history, computer science, um, and all of those things that are um, in the category. So whenever you play in, um, the, any player can buzz in and has to be only recognized by the official or the moderator before beginning the answer. Um, and the recognition must be verbal. So we're all gonna be using the Just Buzz In platform. Um, and uh, a player can interrupt the question asker um, using the buzzer, but they have to wait to answer the question until the moderator um, has acknowledged them. Um, we will be uh, allowing one or two misbuzzes, but if it continues to be a persistent thing for every misbuzz, it will be a negative uh, five points for that. Um, but on the positive side, whenever you get the correct answer, you will be getting uh, five points. And if it's incorrect, you'll be deducted uh, five points. Um, if the event is believed by either the, uh, the team's coaches, a mistake has been made, uh, they can immediately ask the moderator for a timeout. Um, the two teams and coaches and the moderator shall confer aside from all contestants and the audience and resolve the issue. If neither the coach hosting the meet shall be the final judge to resolve the issue. And once it is resolved, the contest uh, shall continue with the results to be final. Um, and in between questions, you could ask for a timeout. We don't have a limit on timeouts. We just ask that you be uh, respectful for the time allocated for the competition. So we do not expect any excess timeouts with the exception of substitutions. Um, uh, and a student may challenge a question by calling for a timeout only. So that's the only way to challenge. You cannot use the buzzer to buzz in to do the challenge, you have to call for a timeout and that can only be in between questions. Um, and at the end, in the event of a tie, the round will go into bonus questions to determine a winner. And there will always be uh, bonus questions for each round. Okay. And then for this year, we have increased the amount of questions for each round. If we recall last year, um, the flash rounds were five, the tournament rounds were 10, and the champion were 15. So we increased it by five questions. Uh, so there could be a little bit more competition. Um, and how essentially it's gonna go, uh, team one and three will play, team two and four, five and seven, and then six and eight will play against each other. And then the winners of those in um, the flash rounds will go to the tournament. So the winner of number one against number three and vice versa. And that'll be the 15 question rounds. And then the championship round will be the 20. And then that will determine who will be going to the, um, uh, the regional and state competition. Yes, yes. Uh, we have put some time and effort into more modifications and to streamline it better. Um, we do intend of it going statewide. Um, yes, Amanda. Oh, I love, I love this format. It's our kids last year when they did it, they're like, oh, that's, that was, that was it. Like they wanted, they wanted more action from it. Yes, yes. Um, uh, last year was essentially the pilot just to go ahead and get the um, kind of like a little sample taste of, of what's to come because this year we are fully rolling it out statewide. And, and it, it, it's amazing. Um, we are super excited, especially with this new format. Um, uh, go ahead, next please. So um, here's the categories that the questions might be based off of, um, art, music, literature, math, science, and technology, and then also ag um, sciences again. I think, was one supposed to be computer science? I'm not sure. Uh, New yes. Mexico world history, world history, American history, and geography. So if you're gonna have your kids study, these are some areas that you might look at. Um, can I make a suggestion, just a little one? Um, well, of course. I, I know that whenever questions were being asked um, of the students, um, some, sometimes it was formatted, the question was formatted to where you'd be like, okay, this is an art question, okay, this mm -hmm. is a history question. 
can you make sure to like reiterate that before I'm asking the question? Because uh, ever, I mean, it was just a little thing. We didn't know that one of the questions for our final round was a, a music question. The answer was volume, but it wasn't a music question. I don't know. It was just weird, and we didn't know. Oh, what, understood. What aspect of the or what category specifically this okay. um, the question was being asked out of? So we would have never known that the answer was volume. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Um, we we will go ahead and discuss it. Um, <sighs> For, for competition's sake, we would try to avoid from essentially hinting what the next question is going to be, but that does make sense. Um, this question pool that we, we do have now, and we also have uh, practice questions that we will be uh, passing out after uh, this meeting is over. Um, but no, the, these are uh, from, <laughs> from a company that specifically does things like this. So they have already done all the research. Whenever we did ours last year, it was just kind of, um, we were just pulling questions that we believed were already in the curriculum based, but the new questions that we have now and the questions for the academic, for the actual competition, um, they're going to be the same categories, they're just going to be different. So we have very set questions um, that are already vetted through. We have a set of um, questions that we're saving specifically for the competition so no one's going to see them until day of and then we have uh, similar categorized sample questions that we will be passing out to our participating teams uh, prior to the competition so you could work on on doing that research and um, getting it done but yes i do like that question that you had so um, we will definitely talk about it and we'll give an update when we decide to see if we're going to give out a category before we ask a question but like i said we just don't want to give more hints. Right. Because yeah. I, from because I, I was in there, I was supervising it too, and it could have gone either way. It could have been a music question, it could have been an art question, it could have been a science question. And had we like known it was music, then they would have known the answer would have been like mm -hmm. more. Uh, understood. And, and that makes sense. Um, but yes, we'll, we'll discuss it and then we'll go ahead and just reach out. And then whenever the days come for the competition, we'll also give you uh, an update and a reminder as well. Awesome. But, um, Thank you so much. Of course, it's my pleasure. And then um, with that, do you have any questions so far, Amanda? No, so it seems like the formatting and everything, hold on. So it seems like the format it, with the, the exception of the of um, <laughs> of more questions is pretty much the same. I love that. Um, I, is, does it look like we're going to be the only school to participate in our region again? Um, for the middle school, no, it doesn't look right. like it. We actually have. So originally, we focused on our region and member districts. Okay. But since we're opening it completely to the state, uh, charter schools are invited, Las Cruces, Gadsden, mm -hmm. um, Albuquerque, Santa Fe. So even non-member non districts are going to be participating. So it is fully open to the entire state now. So okay. whomever wants to participate, um, yeah, you're more than welcome to go ahead and sign up. We'll be the contacts um, for it. And even if you have... Um, any other schools or things like that that you that you know, um, you're more than welcome to reach out and pass along um, our contact info from Gina, Amber, or myself. Um, also, uh, Toby, um, but he's currently uh, in a different meeting. But yes, um, if you also know people that would like to go ahead and jump in, go ahead and invite them, send them our contact info. We are still getting it, everything ready. Um, our main focus is going to be the spring season or the spring portion of the season and that's when we're going to be doing all the record keeping we just want to get it on everyone's radar this early so we can get some practice in the fall so we can go into the spring because the varsity team unfortunately is going to be the only team that is going to make it to state for the competition as our first pilot year but hope we're we're hoping to open it up for um all qualifiable um students um 
and grade levels as well. So essentially the first full statewide is varsity only. And then after that, it's going to potentially open up for the rest of the state. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be a really big thing. Okay. And, mm -hmm. So my other thing was um, because we wanted to make it a house competition again, would we be able to still enter for our four teams? Oh yeah, definitely, of course. Oh, awesome. That was like a huge, because it worked so well for our house competition mm -hmm. and then our winning house went on to the mm -hmm. following, what does that mean? I mean, it yes. was different because we were the only school, but mm -hmm. if we happened to make it, maybe we could have like a couple houses maybe not, or yeah. just one, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, so so the rules essentially are still the same. Um, schools can have uh, essentially more than one team, but uh, only one team from the school can obviously make it to the regionals and state, but okay. um, those are the early qualifiable rounds. You could have internal competitions with us mm -hmm. and with them, and they could all not just have it um, your four houses, but your four houses can be competing against other middle schools as well. So it just strictly won't be internal at that point. It will be um, in our in our region. Okay, so yeah. um, essentially our top performing team, if they make it, will go on. Yes, we'll go on after the qualifying round. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and um, since you have already uh, done the uh, Just Buzz In from uh, last year, we did uh, plan in this a practice round for the Buzz In. Uh, would you be willing to go ahead and do it, Amanda? Or we can go ahead and, and just go bypass it since we've already done it last year with you. Well, I think it would be good just to have it on the recording. So if we send that out, they can see what oh, that looks like. Two. Oh, yep. Sure. Cool. Yes, I will participate in the discussion tutorial. Perfect. So Daniel, if you want to go ahead and share your screen whenever you're ready, just so they can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, so um, so you're gonna go ahead and go to justbuzzin.com or justbuzz.in. And then the room code is going to be uh, region 10. And then you'll go ahead and click on the let's buzz and that'll take you to this screen. And the cool thing is too, uh, you could also use space to buzz. <laughs> yeah, so essentially this is going to be the format for the Just Buzz In. And we could even see here on the participant side, um, all the players are on the board. Um, with this one, how last year we did have each team will have one laptop for the team. Uh, this year it could be um, each student can have a laptop. So it would be um, Daniel uh, SWREC and then Amber SWREC. So you'll have the player's name with the team name and in your case, the house name. So we can go ahead and manage a, a bigger board so we don't have to, so the student, but the participant wouldn't have to um, talk among themselves. If they know the answer, they don't have to lean over another a uh, teammate to speak into the microphone, it'll be the laptop right in front of them. So yeah. Um, other than that, Amanda, uh, do you have any other questions? No, that's it for me. I'm excited. I know our kids are excited. We had kids participate last year that are like, hey, we're doing it again. Because we have our trophies on display up here in front. So, oh, yep. yeah. so that's they, awesome. they, they want Thank more. You. Oh, good. I will be having more trophies uh, for all the winners as well. Thank you. Of course. Alina, um, I'm good. I'm excited. Kids are excited. 
Oh, we're excited as well. Yeah, uh, we do understand that um, it is towards the end of a school day on a Thursday, and a lot of our districts are on a four-day work week, uh, school week as well. So um, we'll be sending out more emails uh, with more information, and we'll be having uh, more meetings um, with other schools prior to the first competition date just to get everyone on the same page. And then we can also be distributing um, the practice questions um, at an even time when we have more um, uh, per uh, interested schools in the meeting because I've, if, if we would give you the practice questions now, it would be a little bit of an unfair advantage to other teams that would like to join. Um, but uh, we're still in the process of finalizing our manual. Um, we're looking at best time tomorrow midday when it will be available. So we'll be when the manual is ready, we'll be sending you the information with it. So it'll have all the bylaws for the academic competition and a lot more information that is pertinent to qualifying for the students and rules and things like that. Because our main goal, our ultimate goal is to have it sanctioned by the um, athletic association as well. So we're also in the process of that. So we need to develop all of this and then have at least, I think, 16, 16 schools interested so we can submit it for state to get it sanctioned. So we're almost there. We're getting very excited and really close. But um, thank you very much for coming, Amanda. And <laughs> um, if you have any other questions down the road, you are more than welcome to reach out to us. We'll um, or whomever your contact is here, reach out to them and we could answer any questions that you would have um, in the future. Thank you so much, I appreciate you all. Of course, our pleasure and uh, happy Thursday. Have a good weekend, everyone. You too, bye-bye.